Hi, my name is Kyle Zintars. I'm a counselor at the SUNY SVO Counseling Center, and today's activity involves clay. You can also use Play-Doh, something that you can sculpt or mold. Um, we'll include some links on how to make some if you don't have some using just some household items. But if you have some, grab it and let's get started. Today we're going to walk through a few different activities. You'll have some options, um, but really I want you to just focus on this as a mindfulness exercise. You're feeling something, you're using so many different hand muscles um, in order to mold and sculpt. And I think it takes a lot of mindfulness and attentiveness to make the thing that you want to make. So as you start, just even kind of like getting it to be a little loosened up, feel the warmth of it, um, see how easily it starts to fold, mold, sculpt, how easily it starts to bend as it warms. So just notice that temperature difference. I know it's a struggle at first sometimes to get it warmed up. Um, sometimes it's solid. <laughs> it takes a lot more muscle to start to break it down. So I think it's good for us, and especially because it's like this activator. It puts us to work. Using clay like this I think allows us to be more in tune with our physical bodies. We have to engage our muscles, we have to look at what we're creating, we have to take in a lot of sensory experience to start to make something that we want to make. And at first I wouldn't say go into this with something in mind. Just play around, mess around with it, get it to a place where you feel comfortable, like it's something that you can make use of. And sometimes that takes a little bit of time. So as you just kind of smush it in your hands, so you feel it start to warm up, become a little bit more moldable. Just kind of notice the differences. Sometimes it can take shapes a little bit easier. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to loosen it up enough. But just kind of notice the shapes that it makes as you do this. Pay attention to those small little details. Sometimes it's nice to see like our own imprints in it, what uh, our fingerprints look like, what the um, shapes of our hands looks like when we squeeze it. Sometimes it's nice when we get to smooth it out into like a ball or a cube, something like that. Just kind of feel how soft and smooth it can actually be. So as you do this, I encourage you to just put some music on, just kind of be here, be present. There's nothing else to do right now. This is some time for you. Maybe take a few deep breaths as you do. Just make it this full experience. This practice is designed to be calming and something that you have some say in, especially at times of uncertainty or when we're kind of out of control of some things in our lives, especially major things. really just become familiar with the clay or play-doh that you're using. Notice if it leaves any residue behind. Some things kind of make our hands feel a little bit sticky. Some things come off pretty easily. We don't really leave anything behind at all. Notice the smell. Some smell stronger than others. I know there's some nostalgia sometimes for people smelling play-doh for the first time in a long time. Just kind of notice what you feel as you do this. Notice how your breathing is. If you notice you're not breathing, make sure to take a breath. Sometimes when we get focused or engaged in something, we don't even notice that we're not breathing. So take some deep breaths if you catch yourself in that state. Just kind of make this a nice stress relief, 
calming experience. The mind's really starting to ease up a little bit, it can take in different shapes finally. It took a while, it was pretty firm and cold, hadn't been used in a little while. Makes it a lot easier to move and mold. But just kind of notice what it feels like. Maybe experiment to see. As you move, feel the muscles in your hands. You can already feel mine working hard. But feel what it's like to smush something, to crush it. Really make it flat in your hands. You can do this on your table as well. So maybe it's pushing down a little bit, seeing how things go. See what kind of shapes it makes. So sometimes part of this experience is letting some stuff out, letting it go. I think sometimes we do that when we push really hard, flatten something, or letting out some stored energy. So if that's not really where you're at, you want to try something a little different, maybe try and just kind of do something repetitive. I think a go-to is making a ball, so having this circular motion till it starts to take its shape. And the more we do that, the more focused we can be on that process. We don't have to think too much. Just kind of let it take shape by doing something repetitive. You can feel it, kind of give yourself a little hand massage as it moves around. And just notice how you feel. And even if it isn't this calming experience, even if there's things that come up that are uncomfortable or don't feel great, um, that's okay too. I think it's just being open to whatever comes up for you. Some of you might hate how this feels on your hands. Some of you might be okay with it. Some of you might want to like get to work. You're ready to do something, build something. That's okay. And some of you are just taking it as it comes. That's okay too. So once you've tried out some things, gotten used to how it feels and how it works, I'll give you some options. Option number one, make something random. Like put yourself to work and just create whatever comes out of it. Don't put too much thought into it. Let it kind of take shape. See what you come up with. So my random object ended up being a little teacup. What'd you come up with? Option number two. So if you don't want to go with something random, let's go with something intentional. I know a lot of you might be feeling stressed or overwhelmed or anxious. There's a lot of stuff happening. What I'd like you to do is notice where you feel that thing. 
right? So if it's, for example, anxiety, stress, where do you feel that when you think of something stressful? So just kind of notice where it is in your body. For me, I store a lot in my chest, kind of in my throat area in this general vicinity. So when you locate it, what I want you to do is just kind of imagine that you have the ability to push it out of you. So we're going to do that through our hands. So just kind of feel where it is in your body and imagine you have the ability to push it up to your shoulder, down your arm, feel it go past your forearm, into your palms. And when it gets there, I want you to take all of that feeling and make something that represents that feeling. It could be a shape or an object, a word, however you want to do it. Just make something that represents this thing you're trying to get rid of, to let go of. So for me, it came out a little bit like this, this like weird amoeba thing. It's not really structured, kind of torn up and just all over the place. So when you have your symbol of that feeling, stress, anxious, sad, uncertain, you choose what to do next with it. So for some of you, that might be destroying it, right? You're going to just crumple it up. For some of you, that might be like flattening it or mushing it. For some of you, that might be like tearing it into pieces. For some of you, that might be rolling it up into a ball. For some of you, that might be throwing it somewhere. Safe, obviously. Don't damage anything. Whatever you need to do with it, do it. Let it go. Let it become what it was before. And just like that, it's released, and it's let go right back into a ball. Option number three. To deal with uncertainty, anxiety, stress, challenges, one thing that we really need to be in tune with is our courage, our bravery, and I think our ability to be in touch with our strength. We're a lot stronger than we give ourselves credit for sometimes. And I think sometimes it's really important to just be aware that we have it in us. And it's good to bring out. So as you do this, what I want you to do is think back to a time where you remember being brave, where you remember being courageous, where you remember being strong through a situation. And I know for some of you, courage is not something that you are familiar with. Um, I think we tend to think of like courage and bravery and these like grand um, experiences, right? Like you have to go and um, fight this huge evil villain or whatever, but we don't give ourselves credit for like the courage that we have on a daily basis to talk to somebody new, to go to an interview, <laughs> to just go to like class to go talk to somebody, to sit somewhere new, to try taking the bus, to all of these experiences are small moments of very brave acts. And I think sometimes we don't give ourselves credit for when we do those things because we just assume that everybody should be able to do them. And I don't think that's the case. So we have to give ourselves credit for even those small steps that make a difference in our lives. So when you think of even those moments, just think of when you took a risk, when you tried something new, when you had a conversation that wasn't an easy conversation. And when you think back to that moment, notice where you feel that in your body. So I think I feel it similarly as I do my stress or anxiety. 
It's kind of this big, full feeling in my chest. It's something that makes me feel confident or makes me proud of really like what's been going on. So when I feel that, I want to be able to capture that as well. So your assignment is to take your clay or Play-Doh and make something that represents that courage or bravery. It can be your token of courage, something that you can carry with you, something that you can create to represent even the strength that you have. It's a good reminder that we have it for ourselves. So take some time, think about what that symbol is or what it represents, and just give yourself the opportunity to make it, turn it into something. So mine ended up being a key because I think my courage allows me to access things that I normally wouldn't feel like I'd have access to. So I allowed it to kind of just take shape. Maybe this is the thing that allows me to get to where I want to be, what's behind the locked door. So if you shared something or if you created something that you wanted to share, feel free to share it. Um, Love to see what you created, no matter what activity you decided on, and just kind of continue to play. Make some things, see how it turns out, keep what you want to keep, let go of what you need to let go of. But just use this to um, be a release, something mindful, something you can check in with yourself about how you're doing, and see where it takes you. All right, well, thanks for sharing some time with me. See you later.